Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today is gonna to be a pretty quick video. Google just pushed off the latest software update to the beta program for Android 14. So it is April 29th. We came out already with the very first beta program. So this Android 14 beta one came out this month in April. I think I got mine right around April 3rd, 4th or 5th, somewhere around there. And it did come with not only just a brand new Android version, so we got Android 14, you know, beta one, but it did come with a bunch of bugs. Now, Google actually went off and wanted to push off another update before May comes to fix those said bugs. And that is what this update is. So we'll go back to this calendar here in just a minute. This is everything that was stated from Google. So this is the highlights of just some of the bugs that was fixed. And honestly, one of them was massive, which meant that the fingerprint reader didn't even work it was just a lock icon so this was the update right here it's 700 uh, i should say it's 7.67 megabytes very small it ends with 0 0.017 now that is if you have basically uh, any other phone other than let's see here other than the pixel 6 6 pro and 6a that is on verizon so you're, you'll be ending in 0 0.017.81 uh, but basically for everybody else, it's going to be this one right here, UPB1, some numbers, and then 0 0.017. So this is the update. It's very, very small. This was the original update. This is what we got, uh, you know, with the original beta update. So this gave us Android 14. You can see it was very massive, 2.41 gigabytes. It actually it looks as if when I took this, this screenshot right here, this one was taken on April 13th. So I might want to take a look back at my videos. I thought it was earlier in April. So it was April 13th was when I got this update. So just about two weeks ago. And then you can see right here, let's see here, this was another one, yeah, April 13th. So it looks like April 13th was when I updated it. It wasn't earlier in the month. So April 13th was when it came, and then here we are the 29th with this update here. So this right here is gonna give you, the new build is labeled, we already talked about all of this up here on the very top. It's going uh, out over the air to the Pixel 4a 5G and later models, which are enrolled in the Android beta program. Now, if you do wanna sign up for the Android beta program, uh, here we are, we're already part of beta one, and they already made a few fixes bug fixes before beta 2 comes out so if you do want to sign up i'll place a link below the video inside the description and as usual with google updates expect the rollout to take at least a few days if not more to reach all eligible devices google highlights a few of the bugs that have been squashed fixed an issue where the system ui crashed when was trying to access the wallpaper and style screen either through the settings app or by long pressing from the home screen now i never had a problem with this if you actually went through my video, which I will also place a link below the video inside the description, I'll also place it right up over here, where I talked about every single thing that's brand new on Android 14. So if you want to watch the video, go take a look at it. I had no issues going into my wallpaper and themes. I do know that there was a few other people that did. So if you did run into that problem, it is now fixed. Next up is this biggest one here, and this one definitely affected me. So ever since I updated the beta one, I was not able to use my fingerprint reader at, at all in terms of unlocking my phone. So it fixed some issues that prevented fingerprint unlock from being used. So if you were one of those that ran into basically your fingerprint being dead, if you're running on this Android version right here, this beta program, so it now has been fixed. So you can see here, I can finally put my thumb on there. You can see the fingerprint icon beforehand. It was just a lock icon. It was pretty annoying, but even though at least uh, the face recognition was super fast, so sometimes even if I tried to put my thumb on it, it already unlocked from my face you know, at that time anyways. So they fixed an issue where the status bar did not display the mobile network. So if I pull this down, I can scroll down. There it is, my Google Fi up over there. If I was not on Wi-Fi, it would give me some more details. Earlier, yeah, Google Fi was not there at all. So there we go, we can at least see our mobile network. Fixed an issue that prevented a SIM card or eSIM from being detected or activated in some cases. Now I use eSIM. Mine was activated, Activated. mine worked. I made phone calls, text messages, played games, things like that. So I was perfectly fine with this one, but if you ran into a problem with your SIM or eSIM, it's not been fixed. And fixed an issue where the lock screen displayed a message with an unresolved string placeholder when smart lock was enabled. Now I did not use smart lock with Android 14 beta one just yet. So if you did, now it's gonna be fixed. So now let's go back to the timeline because I know a lot of people always ask, when is it going to come out? When is it going to be released? What about Samsung phones? So developer previews was February and March. Uh, we are now right here in April. We're just one or two days away from May. 
And basically, then we're going to get into beta 2. So we might not see another update for about a week since they just pushed this one out. So here we're going to be in May. Then we got June and then we got July. This is where it's going to be more stable. July is pretty much almost the entire final release, um, but it will be final release right around here, which is supposed to be in August. Now that's normal for every single year. Now that just means that for Samsung devices, we'll probably maybe see a beta program maybe in July. Uh, if not, maybe August, but I'm going to probably guess July because if it's more stable during these months here, June and July, hopefully it'll be pushed off to other massive manufacturers out there, such as Samsung, to get Android 14 ready to go with, you know, Samsung One UI built on top. So my guess is Samsung beta, maybe July. Final uh, launch will be August or September, unless if they can come in sooner and it'd be sometime mid-June, but I'll also let you guys know that as well. So we basically have one two, three, four betas. So when you see a title saying Android 14 beta four, that means that we are super, super close. So this was all the details that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. It's very small, but very, very important to do because it fixed a bunch of things that was super annoying. The biggest thing, again, for some people is either wallpaper or it's gonna be the fingerprint, which was my biggest issue. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.